I just want to give you guys another quick update on how my system's going. Uh, so, you know, it's a great feeling um, driving an electric car so you're not having to pay for gas. But it's an even better feeling when you are not paying for electricity to charge your car either. So you're charging your car 100% on solar um, that you're making at your own house. So right now it's charging on like a 240 volt charger, but it's only doing 10 amps. So that's like about, I was thinking about like 2.4 kilowatts or so of power. And here is the system. Uh, as you can hear, it is pretty loud. It's, you know, the fan is running on full blast right now. So, so I have seven kilowatts of solar going into uh, the, uh, this inverter. So it's uh, pulling 160 volts under low and it is making 94 amps, so about 5.3 kilowatts. So seven kilowatts rated, it's making 5.3 and it's a uh, noon time right now. So that's probably almost to the, uh, the highest that it would, uh, it would make. Now you can actually hear me without the uh, grow watts. So I'm using two apps to monitor my system. One is the Midnight Classic um, solar app and you can download this on the App Store. And the other one is the Shine Phone from Grow Watts. So I like the Midnight better though because it had the shunt and it kind of gave me um, a better, uh, it actually gave me the, the voltage of the battery which the Grow Watts doesn't really do that. Um, so here is the midnight app first. So I have like three kilowatts of solar going into the midnight and right now I'm getting about 2100 or 2.1 kilowatts or so. And my battery voltage is uh, uh, 56.2. So it is fairly close. Uh, it's at about 80%, roughly 80% charge. Um, the capacity on the battery doesn't really quite, you know, that accurate. Um, the consumption calculation is inaccurate either because I have the grow watts uh, producing power as well so it doesn't really um, calculate that in. So I have uh, my house have two air conditioner unit it's split north and south that's probably three tons and this is the three and a half. When I first move in they're both identicals and one was making a real loud noise I replaced it one with a newer uh, Goodman 14 Sears um, and this one uh, it's a lot more efficient and it pulls a lot less power even though that it might be more tonnage. So this one's only pull about 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000 watts when um, it is running. Uh, however, this one, it's inefficient and it takes a lot longer to cool, but it uses about 3,500 watts to 4,000 watts. So it's using about 1,000 watts more than this one. And my solar array is only enough if it's on like 105 degree days. Uh, 108 is fine too, but when it gets like 110, 115 degrees here at uh, daytime in Arizona, uh, I have to switch back to the grid by like 8 p.m. at night just because it, it wouldn't be able to keep up with both air conditioner uh, being with the battery capacity that I have and I don't have enough solar to fully charge the battery during the daytime. Um, unfortunately, I, I, I could add more solar right now, but like I said, I had, didn't replace the liner of my roof um, yet there before I put on the solar, which I should have done. Um, so until I can replace my roof, I probably won't put on any more solar then. Uh, but once I have enough money to replace my roof liners, then I'll definitely add at least, uh, I would say, five more kilowatts and I think I should be set. Alright, again, thanks for watching guys. Remember, thumbs up and subscribe.